Tripoxylon obsonator. This is the scientific name for a species of solitary wasp that builds its nest in hollow stems. Some wasps build nests of mud. Others live together in colonies and are called social wasps, such as those that build the familiar paper nests. The life cycle of a solitary wasp provides us with a remarkable study of the complex process of growth and development called metamorphosis. Students noticed a wasp going in and out of this hollow wooden penholder. The wasp did this over and over again. When the penholder was opened, four compartments were found inside. Each compartment was filled with spiders. Were the spiders alive? To help them make further observations, the students constructed a split wooden tube, which was set into a box with a glass cover. One end of the tube is left open for the wasp to enter. The box has a wooden cover to protect the inside of the tube from bright light. The specially constructed tube is left near an open window. Soon the wasp discovers the tube and enters it. If we carefully remove the cover, we can observe what's happening. At first, the wasp seems to be exploring inside the tube. Then it backs out of the tube and flies away. Using its mouth, the wasp scrapes up a tiny ball of mud from some soft ground nearby. Then it returns and enters the tube. The wasp makes another trip for more mud. At first it's difficult to see what the mud is for. But soon it is evident that the wasp is using the mud to build a wall. The next time the wasp returns to the tube, it is carrying something else. A spider. Other trips bring more spiders. These spiders are alive, but they cannot move, for they have been paralyzed by the wasp's poisonous sting. Now the wasp comes out and re-enters the tube backwards. Very carefully, the female wasp searches for just the right spot on the spider's body and prepares to lay a single egg capable of development. When the wasp leaves the tube this time, there is a minute jelly-like egg attached to the spider's body. Now the wasp closes off the compartment with more mud. Other compartments are added in the same manner until the tube is filled with compartments. Each compartment has a single egg and several spiders in it, and each is separated from the others by a wall of mud. If we examine one of the eggs closely, we can see activity within the egg. The embryo inside the egg is developing. This is the beginning of a series of events which will eventually result in a new wasp. One special feature of the development of insects and many other animals is a change in body organization. We call this change metamorphosis. In the wasp, this change is dramatic and is called complete metamorphosis. In two days, the embryo hatches from the egg and a new stage in the development of the wasp begins, the larval stage. The wasp larva has a worm-like body and a round head. Soon after it hatches, it begins to feed on the spiders. Now we can see why the spiders are in the tube. As it feeds, the larva grows rapidly. It increases in size 
and develops new structures that will be useful in later stages of development. The main function of the larva is to gather the raw materials that will make further growth and development possible. As larvae grow, they repeatedly shed their skins in a process called molting. Three days after hatching from the egg, the larvae become less active. Soon they will begin a new activity within their compartments. All of the food has been consumed in each compartment. Now the larva begins to spin thin, web-like material from special glands in its head region. The walls of the cocoon grow heavier and stronger as the larva seals itself into a protective covering. Many animals spin cocoons to protect themselves in early stages of development. In most cases, the cocoon provides a special environment needed for pupation. It takes two days for the wasp larva to finish the cocoon. Then the larva inside the cocoon becomes motionless. If we turn on a light behind the cocoon, and turn off our top light, we can see the silhouette of the larva inside. The larva is beginning to transform itself into a pupa. This is the beginning of metamorphosis. To observe this development, we have removed a pupa from its cocoon. During the pupal stage, tissues that were developed in the larva are reorganized to give rise to the structure of the adult wasp. The old larva skin splits open and the head and large jaws of the wasp emerge. As the wasp struggles to free itself from the old skin, Pupil structures, typical of the adult wasp, can be seen. Here we can see the area between the abdomen and thorax becoming narrower. Further development of the wasp involves many internal changes in body structure, and hardening of the body covering. By using a light from below, we can see the new outline of the wasp. It must be remembered that all of these changes normally take place inside the cocoon. Here we see the wasp's compound eyes and the three simple eyes called ocelli. The typical form of an adult wasp is now clearly visible. Here are the wings, and here are antennae, or feelers. Notice that the body of the wasp has darkened. This process is called tanning, and involves hardening of the cuticle, or skin, that forms the body covering. Since the larval stage, the developing wasp has taken in no food. Suddenly the whole body of the wasp begins to move actively. Now the wasp struggles to free itself from the pupal skin. This cellophane-like skin splits and is peeled off, first near the head, then gradually the transparent wings emerge. As the old skin is pushed off, the abdomen is freed. The entire process of freeing itself from the pupal skin takes about 30 minutes. 
the wasp now pumps fluid into its wings, causing them to expand. Excess fluid and accumulated wastes are excreted. The wasp is now ready for the final stage of its life. Remember that these processes of metamorphosis normally occur within the cocoon where they cannot be easily seen. 20 days after the egg was laid, the adult wasp is ready to break out of the cocoon. It chews its way through the tough paper-like covering. Once free of the cocoon, the wasp has yet to break through the wall of its compartment in order to free itself. In the next compartment, the process is repeated. The new wasps will leave their nest exactly 21 days after the eggs were laid, flying off to assume adult life. In a little more than a week, the female wasps will renew the life cycle by building new nests and laying eggs. This pattern of development of the wasp is characteristic of many forms of insect life. Can you find patterns of metamorphosis in other phyla of animals?